Start your life as an apprentice witch to the legendary Baba Yaga and venture across a mysterious natural landscape with your companion, a chicken-legged cottage. Develop your magical powers, customize your home, craft potions, help or hinder villagers, find your way in the world. Hey, Silvern here with a video on a game that you may not have heard of before, Rekka. It's being developed by Emberstorm Entertainment and being published by Fireshine Games, set for release sometime in 2024. I was lucky enough to win a chance in their Discord page to get a key to play a demo of the very beginning of the game in their pre-alpha build. I'd like to share what I learned, experienced, and why I am so excited for the release of the full game. Needless to say, if you've been following Rekka already and don't want any spoilers, turn back now. If you do want to know more basic information, though not necessarily spoilers, their Discord is definitely the place to go as their team has been so transparent and hands-on in the little witchy community that is already building in there. You can tell that a lot of heart is being put into this game. Rekka was incredibly charming. You start in the middle of this quaint forest just before coming upon a village. Speaking with them gives you a feel of where you are and you gather that there is an old woman out beyond the other side of the village that you are heavily warned to stay away from. Naturally, after you help carry an adorable kid back to its owner, you hightail it straight to the fog to look for this woman. Upon speaking with her, you definitely feel like you fall into a moment of, wait, was this the right thing to do? Because of how cheeky yet threatening her words are. You gather a few items for her, under the threat of being an ingredient for her stew, and prove that you are more competent than a regular individual. You are a young witch, after all. When you return, she reveals that you will be helping her with a ritual using the items you gathered. You do a little back and forth, and without spoiling too much, let's just say you end up with a gorgeous cutscene of the old woman completing the ceremony and giving life to these ruins behind her hut and birth to your new chicken-legged home. Surprise! She reveals herself as Baba Yaga, and she's decided to take you on as an apprentice. From there, the real fun begins as you get a tutorial on how to build your cottage, and the level of customization is incredible. So long as the width of your building remains within the platform of what is on top of your chicken's legs, you have pretty free reign. It seems to be that the height limit is 20 wall units. I was unable to get a solid feel for exactly how wide it can be, as I encountered some bugs that allowed me to extend my flooring way beyond what is likely allowed. But anyways, you can find all sorts of furniture, paintings, books, and other odds and ends by just exploring the world, opening abandoned chests, and completing errands or quests for villagers. You can place these things practically anywhere in your home, arranged however you want. The building mechanics felt pretty well explained, but there were a few moments where I had issues either getting my walls to line up properly with the floor, or having some trouble getting my stairs to go upwards to where I wanted a second level. But all in all, it was relatively smooth. You can rotate the pieces to get the angles that you need, each building material takes up one piece of wood from your inventory, and if you make a mistake, you can just take it down and it will return to your inventory, instead of having to do something like destroy it and gather more materials. The perks of being a witch, I suppose. From here, you're given some more free reign to finish exploring the piece of the map that we were given access to, and you have a small list of things that you can accomplish before telling your new master that you're ready to move on. They're really just some small, simple tasks from helping villagers with a few quick things to learning how to discover recipes. There was even an area where you could perform cleansing rituals over some old grave sites. The dialogue with the villagers does feel a bit scripted and plain, but this is just the very first look that we're getting at, and I'm sure the devs are more concerned with functionality more than anything else at the moment. Polishing can come later. I myself only experienced very minor bugs from how NPCs physically interacted with each other to getting a dialogue interaction with Baba Yaga when she was nowhere around, and that particular statement probably should have happened earlier. But all in all, it was a pretty smooth experience. Much to my excitement, it seems animals will be very prominent in this world. From immediately helping locate a lost baby goat, to finding a cat that joins you, to using your own ravens to fly out and help gather items, to whatever incredibly mysterious but beautiful deer creature this is, I hope that animal companions will play a large part. If nothing else, at least getting to hold them, and maybe pet them in the future, is plenty to keep me happy. The music was so pleasant to listen to, and the transitions between areas for the different tracks felt rather seamless. I found myself just stopping and listening, especially when walking down another path in the forest that I hadn't explored yet. The landscape itself is also so cozy. The village is quite small and simple with their little bit of livestock and their couple of fields. The forest is made of plenty of skinny trees of differing kinds, allowing these lovely beams of sunlight to break through. Deer wander throughout it, and apparently you can even feed them if you have access to berries. When you do finally return to Baba Yaga and speak with her, you get a pop-up box warning that if we proceed, it will end the demo and give a teaser of more to come. I have to admit, I audibly gasped when I realized that we are going to have the opportunity to fully control the movements of our cottage. The exploration that we're going to have access to in the full game releases is going to be amazing. 
From the sounds of the team from Discord conversations, they have plenty more planned that we'll get to see over the course of the next year or so. Potentially the most exciting part that a lot of people are happy to hear about is that our witch will be customizable to a degree. Who doesn't love character customization? Plus building your home? I know so many of us are going to be in the starting area for several hours alone while we fine tune these most important of details. I'm unsure if there is much plot beyond becoming a better witch, but even if it's just a cozy game to pull up and explore rather than completing main quests and whatnot, you can bet I will be curled up with a blanket, hot drink, and probably a candle lit somewhere, and I will be collecting as many animals as I possibly can. But what do you think about this early look at Rekka? Does it seem like a game you would find yourself playing? Would you be building an elaborate tower or a simple single-story cottage? What witchy tasks do you hope to get to perform in the future? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for sticking with me to the end, because as we all know, this is the witching hour.